All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to our virtual event. Uh, this is going to be a, a pretty good lineup today. We have quite a few dogs uh, that we're going to be showcasing on this uh, virtual event today. Um, a couple of them have been around for a little while, so uh, I'm going to push them pretty hard today because they are in need of their forever home and they really should get their home. There's nothing wrong with these dogs. They're beautiful, they're wonderful, and they should be uh, ready to go. So I'm going to uh, start off today by saying uh, we always look for donations, fosters. Um, if you can't adopt a dog right now, that's perfectly fine. You can also help by fostering um, until you're ready to adopt. You can also work on teams with us. We have different teams where we, people come and hold the dogs at events. They help out there. Um, get your kids involved. It's, it's a fantastic way to uh, instill things uh, for them when they grow up. Um, other than that, I'll get us started today. Our first dog today is going to be Aria. Let me spotlight this beautiful wonder here. I don't know why she's still with us, but she'll get her home and hopefully she'll find it this weekend. All right, everybody, this is Aria. Hi, everybody. Uh, this is Aria. She's about two years old. Um, she's a fantastic girl. Uh, I'll just run through the usual checklist. Um, she sleeps fantastic in her crate at night. She goes right in uh, and then just, you know, whines a little bit when she's ready to come out in the morning, but nothing bad. Uh, she's completely housebroken. She's been with me now about five months and is literally not so much as even had one tinkle that needs correcting. Um, she goes right to the back door uh, and goes right out and lets you know when she's ready to come in. Uh, no food aggression. Uh, she's what I call a perfect medium energy dog. Uh, she's not a dog that just lays around and does nothing, but she's not a dog that's that's in your face either. Um, as you can see, you know, she does. She likes to play and that's awesome. Uh, but at the same time, I was I was laying around having a lazy Sunday this morning watching uh, Netflix on my phone and she was just laying right next to me cuddling up. Um, so she's she's really that nice sort of uh, middle of the road. Uh, no food aggression, you know, not that I have any reason to, but I can give her food and then just take it right away. And, you know, it's totally fine. Um, she's a little, little slow meeting new people. Uh, but when she gets to know you, she is an absolute love. She's great with children. Um, I have a, my girlfriend has a five-year-old who I think uh, Aria is literally hit her favorite person. Uh, I was away in Florida for a week. She stayed with another foster family who had uh, twin four-year-olds, um, and she absolutely adored being there. So great with children, medium energy, house broken, house trained, no food aggression. Uh, she really is just fantastic. Uh, the only thing is she does not get along with other animals. Uh, she would have been adopted a few months ago except she did not get along with the, the resident dog. Uh, the family was really upset. They really did want to adopt her. Uh, and I have a 15 year old cranky kitty um, who, I, who I do just keep them separated. Uh, I don't think it's aggression. Aria just too interested. Um, so she should be the only, only, only animal in the house. And she sits like a champ. Aria, wanna show your sit? sit one and she sits for a good long time too and she catches good don't make me look stupid one two three and she made me look stupid every sunday uh all right well that, 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 that was more the throw adam that was the throw that wasn't aria hey listen if it's a catchable ball you gotta get it <laughs> <laughs> all right uh so yeah really i just i can't promote this girl enough she's fantastic uh, people always say, why don't you adopt her? And I just say, because if I adopt her, there won't be a spot for another dog. Um, but we, we could not love her more. All right, everybody. That is Aria. She is beautiful. She's been around for a little while. Like Adam said, she would have been adopted already, but she didn't get along with the, uh, the resident animals. She is 
available. She's ready to go. She is fantastic. She's got a lot of great qualities. Just, you know, she's got to be an only pet. So let's find a home for her out there that where she's the only pet and she will be your best friend. All right, Aria. We'll see you in a little while, okay? All right, we're going to jump over to Maybelline. I think I said that right. If I didn't say it right, please correct me. All right, here's Maybelline. Oh, just make sure you unmute yourself. There we go. You should be able to hear me now. Yeah, you're good to go. Okay, so this is Maybelline. We affectionately call her the bean. And as you can see, she's going after the treats that I have. She absolutely loves them. Stop, stop, here. Show me a trick. Come on. There you go. She loves doing these. She loves standing up for me. So Maybelline is about five and a half years old. She's a, a medium-sized dog, 45 pounds or so. Um, she's been a wonderful dog, a wonderful pet while I've had her. Uh, she's crate trained, housebroken, loves her treats, as you can see. Uh, she's actually more jumpy today than she normally is. Uh, she's happy to be running around and playing or just lying somewhere and relaxing while you're relaxing. Um, I would recommend her being the only, the only pet right now. She would need slow introductions. Uh, I would recommend that she goes to a, um, a family with older uh, children or no children, only because you can see she's, she gets a little hyper and she is very strong. Um, I actually took her to the vet yesterday for a checkup and the technician there fell in love with her. And if she didn't have another a dog already, she probably would have Maybelline by now because she absolutely had so much praise for her. Um, as far as aggressions go, I don't see aggressions, but since uh, I think she sees me as the alpha that uh, she doesn't show me any aggression. So I wouldn't, I don't push it with her. I respect her. <laughs> she really loves those three. Well, now they're all gone, Maybelline. So see, and now she walked away. Hey, baby. Come here. She loves to play. That's hey, Maybelline. She really hey Paul, how old is she? How old is Maybelline? Do you uh, know? She's about four and a half, uh, five and a half. She really uh, is a great dog. She's very family oriented. Um, if you are a person that is ideally home most of the day, I am not. And she does absolutely does fine with that. She loves uh, goes into her crate or I can leave her alone in, in the house for hours and she's fine. Um, but she absolutely prefers to have family around. Uh, she, she, she really needs that kind of connection. She does best with that. Uh, she gets lonely. Uh, she doesn't destroy anything, but she just, you can see in her that she, she really wants, wants your company. Yeah, she That's wants affection. Good. That's all good. Everybody, oh, yeah. everybody wants their cuddles. <laughs> uh, you, have, you have to be, uh, I have to accept the fact that she's going to do things like this with you. If you're sitting on the floor, she's going to sit on your lap. <laughs> <laughs> and she doesn't, she doesn't generally bark. If she, she's hearing a noise that she's not familiar with, uh, she ignores the mailman. Uh, when I take her for walks, she pretty much ignores other dogs unless they come very close to her. Um, I, she's had limited contact because of the pandemic situation and the fact that it's the middle of the winter. Um, but as I said, she would need slow introductions to other dogs because she is very strong. Uh, and I don't want to get her into a situation where it becomes a problem. But uh, other than that, she's fantastic. I don't know why nobody, uh, nobody has uh, latched onto her because everybody that meets her absolutely falls in love with her. Uh, she'll find her home. She is cute. That pink collar. <laughs> They don't want to see your butt. Come no, here. we want to see your face, Maybelline. You there sit. she is. Maybelline, this way. Can you sit? Can you sit? Sit. Sit. That. There you go. Baby. That's a good girl. That. All right. Well, everybody, that's Maybelline. She's beautiful. She loves kisses, and she likes to cuddle. She loves kisses. <laughs> All right. Come here. Come here. Come here. 
<laughs> Very nice. All right. Well, we're going to jump over to our next presenter. Thank you, Maybelline. We'll see you later, okay? Wagging your tail all happy. All right. We're going to jump over to Sawyer now. Let me just spotlight Sawyer for everybody. All right, guys, this is Sawyer. Good morning, everybody. This is Sawyer. Uh, he's about five years old. He's been patiently waiting to play with his toy, and now I think he's over it because, oh, there we go. Um, he is five years old. He's about 60 pounds. Obviously, he's a male. I'm calling him a he. Um, he is really, really well behaved and really sweet. Um, anybody who comes into the house, children, young children, older people, men, women, he just welcomes them and is immediately their friend. Um, you know, he's really easy to, to manage in the house. He fully housebroken, never had an accident. I've had him for months at this point and I've never had a problem there. I have him on a schedule where he goes out four times a day, you know, for a 10 minute walk or so, and, and he's good there. I don't have a fenced in yard, so I walk him, but he probably would do even better in a fenced in yard where you can kind of let him just out there and explore. Um, he, you know, would do better in a home with no other pets. He, he doesn't really like other animals, um, sleeps through the night. Uh, I let him sleep downstairs because he likes to sleep on a love seat in my office, but, you know, he can certainly you know, be left, to, he's following me around, I'm trying to keep him on camera. Um, he can certainly be left to stay anywhere. You know, if, if you want to crate him overnight, you can, but there's really no reason to. He, he does, once he goes to sleep, he doesn't move until the morning when you get up to, to take him out. He's really good like that. And my, my day can start at 7.30. Sometimes it starts at 8, 8.30, and he's pretty respectful of that. Sometimes he will come and wake me up. But if I ask him to lay down and relax for a little bit, he'll do that. Um, what else, you know, no food aggression, anything like that. Like I said, in the house, he is absolutely perfect. It's just, you know, when he sees other dogs on walks and stuff like that, he gets upset. That's why I think a home with a, a nice yard for him would really be the best scenario. And, you know, he's a really, really good family member. He's just not letting me stay on camera because he wants to be on top of me because he knows I have a treat. So I'll give him one really gentle with the treats. And like I said, I, I have family over a lot. I have people coming in and out to do different things in the house, total strangers. He's extremely welcoming. Um, if you're looking for a guard dog, he's probably not the right, <laughs> the right fit for you. Cause he just, you know, is happy to see anybody and just immediately goes up to them and is friendly with them. So from that standpoint, he is excellent. Uh, what else? guess that's really it you know I'm, I make my own schedule at work so I'm happy to bring him to anybody's house I don't care where you live um, you know we're just really looking to find him a home he's an excellent dog and he really deserves you know a stable environment where you know he can just feel comfortable and you know he would he would do well and he'd really reward anyone who adopted him with a, lo a lot of love and a lot of uh affection and you know he's like I said he's he's very low maintenance he, he doesn't really require a lot he likes to play he's got energy but also um, you know while I'm working and I need him to relax he, he does that he's very quiet and calm and then when we go out you know he gets all his energy out and that's Sawyer very nice guys yeah that's Sawyer likes likes his people well uh like Eric said let anybody in the house sure come on in you got treats come on you're my friend let's go even um, if you don't, I'll be happy. <laughs> very, very nice. All right, everybody. Say thank you, Sawyer, for being such a good presenter today. Stand in frame. All right, we're going to jump over to Ariel now. Let me just uh, spotlight Ariel here for everybody. Uh, I got so many on the list today, it's hard to find. Let's see. Ariel, there she is. All right. Oh, where are you going, Ariel? Come back. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she's she wants to go out. Although we were out 10 minutes ago. Good morning, everyone. Um, this is Ariel. She is um, a nine month hound mix. Um, she's about 40 pounds. Um, I've had her a, a, about a, more than a month, maybe five, six weeks. She's fully crate and house trained. Um, she is food motivated. 
She loves her treats. She knows some, some tricks. Um, we're working on some other commands too. And she's, she's pretty smart. She loves to play outside with her Kong toy. Um, she's really good at getting the biscuit out. There she is. Um, this week for the first time I clipped her nails and she was fantastic. I can't even get over it. She laid on her belly while I clipped her nails in between belly rubs. So I thought that was a great sign of how um, gentle she is and sweet. And she is very affectionate. She loves to cuddle with me, but she likes to play. Um, the morning seems to be her active time. Um, let's see, she went to her first Petco event. I heard she did very well. Um, yesterday we had a family um, birthday and everyone came over afterwards and uh, we had a little baby, a one-year-old, and she didn't seem aggressive to the baby at all. She did really well with having a household of people. Um, right now she's, she's looking for something. She's looking for some treats. Um, she loves to bask in the sun um, and chew on her toys. Okay, now she's into her bone. Um, she's not food aggressive or treat aggressive. She, you know, she lets me handle, take it away from her. Um, she's really good. She's calmed down a bit. Um, she's doing really well. Very nice, very nice. Yeah, she's yeah. a nine month old dog. So she's still got that puppy energy. You yeah, know, most, most, most of the dogs by, you know, about, 13 months that will be completely gone um yeah. they'll, they'll get into a different routine but uh yeah puppy zooms in the morning we have that here all the time <laughs> oh it looks like somebody wanted to know about other animals i don't have any other animals um uh, i mean i when the we hear other dogs barking in the neighborhood she just kind of you know looks around but she doesn't seem to get afraid or anything. Um, there, I, I heard at the Petco event that there, she did like have a low growl when there was another dog, one of the other. So I don't know, but she does that with humans too, but then it's over, you know, she'll just be like, Arr. and then as soon as she, you give her a treat, she's your best friend. So I don't know, she's maybe a little timid, We'd have to test her. I know she's good with cats and bunnies because she has been tested with cats and bunnies. All right, perfect. Yeah, if there's any other questions for Ariel, throw them in the chat. She's uh, she's gorgeous. Enjoy your sun, Ariel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to jump over to Ginger and Nikki. Let me just find them. They are an adopted pair with a, a story. Um, they original people that own them passed away. We ended up oh. uh, taking over for them. Um, oh. Family couldn't do it. So uh, this is Ginger and Nikki, guys. So you've got Ginger right here. This is a bonded pair of um, older older pooches who as, as I said, we're, uh, uh, we, we got picked up over, over the Christmas after their person passed away. Uh, Ginger here is a 16 year old uh, senior girl. She's a chihuahua. She's about eight and a half pounds. Uh, she is very, um, she's, well, we would call, I would call her a low energy dog. She loves to, uh, to snooze and, and cuddle with you. She's a lap dog. And here we're getting Nikki coming into the picture to join, uh, to join us and see what's going on. Photo bomb and Ginger's time. Yeah. <laughs> right over here, is, uh, over here is Nikki. Nikki is um, 11, uh, 11 years old. Um, he's uh, he's a, a bit uh, bit more energy, but uh, also very calm, uh, quiet guy. These guys are um, they're a fabulous pair. They they all they love attention. Come here, yeah, they love attention, and uh, the one. One quality uh, in, in particular is if you start paying attention to, to Ginger, you start paying attention to Ginger, Nikki comes over and says, hey, you have to pet me too. 
<laughs> See? <laughs> so you can't pet just one of these guys. Uh, you have to pet them both. Um, the good thing they're very small. You can do it with one hand. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> she is, as I said, so she's an older girl. She, she's 16. So she's not She's not moving very fast anymore. She's, um, you know, she's timid and quiet around um, uh, other other dogs. Um, but uh, and 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 you know, go. She goes out for her walks, but doesn't. Uh, it, it, like I say, isn't moving very fast. And then Nikki is happy to go for um, a longer walk, and he's, uh, you know, he's still very active, even though he's eleven. Uh, they are both fabulous with animals that are smaller sizes um like their size or or uh, above uh i guess nikki is about 30 pounds or so um and and ginger is tiny eight and a half and uh so i mean he they, they we have uh three cats and these guys are both great with our cats um absolutely no problems whatsoever uh, with the cats, um, they're a little bit slow to meet new dogs on uh, when we're out on on walks, and uh, uh, Nikki is a little timid with dogs that are big guys that are larger than him. Um, he's been a little bit, you know, fearful growling with them, but other than that, um, they're great with other animals in the house. Um, and you know they're really loving and uh, cuddling, cuddling guys who just want uh, uh, lots of attention. Um, but you know they are, as they say, they don't need. Uh, they're they're not hugely active. They will sleep quite a bit. Um, and uh, we had some trouble with with Ginger when we were when we were starting when we were first starting out. She was barking a lot at night, but that seems to have cleared up now. That we've had her for a while. I think she takes a little while to get accustomed to new circumstances, which is understandable for somebody who's who's an older girl like her. So that's about it. All right, guys. Yeah, that's Ginger and Nikki. Like I said, they're they are a bonded pair. We're trying to adopt them out together. Um, they are seniors, um, and like like they were said, uh, Nikki is a little bit more energetic, but. Still a senior dog, 11 years old, and Nikki is uh, 16. So they're looking Ginger for a home. Ginger is 16. Oh, Ginger. I'm sorry. Yeah. Ginger is 16. 16. So look, looking Nikki. for a home where they can relax and just spend out the rest of their time, you know, just hanging out, getting some cuddles, having some treats in a loving home. Um, so let's see if we can't find them that home. All right. Thank you, Ginger and Nikki. You guys did great. Very moving around today. Nice. Job, All right, guys. we're going to jump over to Bubba. This is Bubba, everybody. Let's see. Hello. This there is, he is. Bubba. Hey, hi. Thanks for, thanks for having us on. Um, so this is Bubba. He's a seven-year-old, 54-pound love. He's really, really super sweet. Um, once he gets to relax and he's in the house, he's in my face right now. Apologies because um, some, some, um, Amazon just dropped something off on the front porch and all the other dogs went crazy so um if that happens again he might uh, he won't he doesn't really seem to bark much but the others certainly do um he gets along really well with all our other dogs we have four total and um he doesn't have a problem with any of them um they were just playing this morning he's only really been here um less than 24 hours but he was with another uh, foster family for a while and um again what i would say about him is that he's just he's gentle he's loving he seems very intelligent. He wants to be told, you know, he wants to know the rules and he seems to, to follow them once he knows them. Uh, very, very curious, um, playful, sweet and kind. He definitely wants to curl up on your lap at the end of the day and just uh, cuddle up like a little tiny dog. I, again, I, I was told he was seven. I believe he is seven, but he seems a little immature, if you will, like uh, socially. He doesn't... Um, he doesn't, it's not any aggression, but he just doesn't know what to do. But once the other dogs kind of tell him what to do, he's like, oh, okay, I, I get it now. Um, he hasn't had any accidents. He's, he's pretty well uh, house trained. Uh, but again, he's been here just a little while. Um, he's extremely well crate trained. Once he goes in the crate, he simply just lays down and goes to sleep. He doesn't, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't bother with anything. Even if there's someone right outside the cage and, you know, the other dogs are outside, not caged, then he just seems to not mind. 
Um, what else can I say? Um, seems to be a little bit not ready for cats yet, but I don't think it's totally out of the question. Honestly, I think he'll be able to do it soon. Um, hmm. I don't know anything else I could tell you about him only because he's so new, but as time goes on, I'm sure he'll express himself more. Anybody have any questions um, at all? Yeah, if you have any questions, throw them in the chat. And uh, we have the app team that's on, that's gonna answer those questions. It's, uh, it's nice to see Bubba on. He's, uh, he's been one of my videos. I've been showing videos of Bubba every, every oh, week when right? we do the virtual event. So it's oh, actually good. nice to see him on today, uh, physically. Yeah, uh, he's, he's, he's doing well. He's, he was well taken care of. And again, he's, he's, he's a smart, gentle, loving dog. He's going to fit with a lot of different families, ones with dogs, ones without. I think he would do fine without a dog as well if, if he just had some, someone human that loved him. Wouldn't you? Good boy. Yeah, he seems very happy. He's a very happy. Yeah, dog. he's very. Uh, yeah, he's he's uh, he adjusted well, and we've only been here a few days. He wants to he wants to go and see the rest of the house, which he's allowed to. I just uh, left him in here today. He might go under there because again, he's really smart. Uh, okay, and that's all for for Buster. And he's always available uh, wherever you guys. You know, I'm sure you, everybody knows how to reach out and get us, so we can meet anywhere and um, and 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 um, show him to anybody. Sounds good, everybody. That's Bubba. All right. Thanks for being on, but oh, look at that. Looking out the window. Yeah. He's, <laughs> he's looking like, for that Amazon guy. He's like, where's that guy at? Where's yeah, that exactly? Guy? Where's Amazon? <laughs> All right, everybody. That's Bubba. We're going to jump over to the gentle giant now. Fergal. Let's bring up Fergal here for everybody. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, this is the gentle giant Fergal. Um, 100 pounds. Just had a birthday two weeks ago. Um, probably one of the most gentlest and sweetest dogs you're going to find. Um, don't let him size fool you. He has absolutely no food aggression. He's got no treat aggression. He's great in the crate. And whenever we put him in, uh, he's great on the leash, take him for walks. He's actually very good with other dogs. We've had a few meets. Esty from the rescue, we brought him over there. And every one of her dogs we went for a walk with, and he was great with each one of them, and Esty included. A couple of ladies from the rescue came to meet him, and he greeted them very nicely. He played with them in the yard. Uh, it is a slow introduction with and with dogs or people. He just uh, takes a little bit for him to warm up. But as you can see, once you warm up, this is what you get from him. Uh, minimal energy. He does like to play, but he's, he'd rather do this. Just hang out with you. When you give him treats, I have him here. He's extremely gentle. An absolute love. Um, he does give a lot of love and a lot of kisses. He's probably one of the more affectionate dogs we've gotten. And this is what you get from him every day. Right, pal? Don't let it size fool you. He's actually it's one of the things. And he thinks he's a chihuahua. He has no idea how big he is. Hi, Pally. You say hi to everybody. Say hi. And he misses you, Nick. He wants to see you again. <laughs> he's a mush. Virgil is he owes a you a shirt. He, he loves to play. <laughs> yes, he does. He's all his toys and he just hangs out. All right. Well, everybody, that's Fergal. He's beautiful. He just wants to be in a home. He wants to be loved. Hugs, kisses, 100 pounds. That's it. You know, he just wants to be with the family. All right. Thanks, Fergal. Enjoy Bye. your trees, buddy. Say bye. <laughs> All right. We're going to jump over to Draco, everybody. Let me just find Draco on my list. And we're going to spotlight him. Hello, everybody. This is Draco coming very close to having his head in my lap. Uh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> Got to get up so they can see you. Yep, there he is. Yep, this is Draco. He is a four year old shepherd mix. Um, I think he might be close to five years old by now. Um, he is 65 pounds and he is an excellent boy very affectionate very loving um he loves his food and his toys you can see he's got all his toys in the crate over here um 
that he's never been aggressive with any of them. He can be very gentle. Um, he is huh, he's fully house trained. We never had a single accident with him. Um, he is, like I said, he's crate trained. He will sleep in the crate all night. He'll hang out in it sometimes during the day. Uh, he learns very quickly. Uh, you know, some commands. Come here, bud. Yeah, good boy, good boy. Yep, he takes treats very gently. Come on, buddy. He will follow you all around the house. Come on. Want a treat? Yeah. Good boy. Oh, yep. I don't even have to tell him to sit. He sits. Wait. Give me a paw. Oh, good boy. There you go. Okay. Um, he loves being outside. Um, he loves walks. He loves zooming around the yard. Um, so, like, he, he would need a lot of exercise. Um, but afterwards, he's content to just hang out in the house with you. Like, I'll be working on my computer, and he will just be have his head in my lap, just snoring away. Um, only thing is he does not like other dogs, um, does not like them at all. So he will get very agitated on walks if he sees another one close by. Um, so he will need somebody strong to hold his leash. Um, so yeah, definitely recommend he be the only animal in the house. But other than that, he's very good boy, very smart, very loving and would like, he will be your best friend. What's up, buddy? What do you see, Draco? What do you see out the window? Huh? What do you see? What do you hear? You hearing something nice? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, there's nothing. Nothing's I there. Bet. But I gotta All hold right. the phone. All right, everybody. Well, that's Draco. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I love the coloring. Every time I see him with the, the white around the eyes and everything, it's, yeah, it's gorgeous. Show your face, buddy. <laughs> we'll get half of it. We'll get, a, we'll get, we'll get the side view <laughs> profile. <Yeah. laughs> All right. That's Draco, everybody. We're going to jump over to Oreo now. Let me just spotlight Oreo for everybody. There they are, Oreo. Looking out the window too. Look at you. Where do you want to go outside or something? Everybody wants to go outside. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> yeah. Good morning, everyone. This is Oreo. Hi. Um, you can see she's got this beautiful white and black um, coat, just like the cookie, which is what I'm guessing is her namesake. Um, she is between five and six years old, 57 pounds. Your uh, typical 57 pound lap dog. You can't see, but she's leaning her butt against me right now as she looks out the window. Um, I would say you'd be a good fit for Oreo if you're a more experienced dog owner, just because she is really strong and really smart. Yeah, there you go. Now you can see she's leaning her butt on me. <laughs> um, and I don't know how much... Uh, she was in a boarding facility for a while. So it's watching this dog unpack the stress of that to become the dog she is today has been a journey and a pleasure because she tries so hard. She just wants to be in a loving home. Um, she did have some issues with trust in the beginning, but once she gets over it, I mean, she's a mush. You can do anything to her. She loves running around. She loves to play right today. She's being, in, oh, here we go. Usually she's got a toy in her mouth. Um, there's about 10 of them on the floor and she plays with all of them. The craziest thing was I gave her a bone and it took her a long time to realize what to do with it. She had no idea until she finally figured it out this past, this past week. And it was like, all of a sudden it clicked. She was actually afraid of it. She wouldn't even touch it, <laughs> but now she loves it, but she's very calm. Like with that, she won't, she doesn't get you know, some dogs get a little antsy if you have a bone and you're near them, but she couldn't care less. She can be a little jumpy. She loves kids, but I would say like an older, older kids would be good for her because she, like I said, she doesn't, 
realize how big she is and strong she is and she's still learning not to jump to say hi. She loves meeting people outside. Um, inside she can have a, she can be a little wary. So just something to be mindful of. She's been great. I also have a uh, cranky old 15 year old cat and she is actually the cat's kind of dog aggressive. So I've keep, kept them separated, but this one is so respectful of her boundaries. She won't go in the bedroom if she sees the cat. <laughs> but my, um, I, she's met my neighbor's cats and she's, she loves them. She goes up and says hi and sniffs them. And so, um, what else about you? Like I said, I think a more experienced hand would be better with her because she has some, some relearning of how to be a dog that's going on. We've been working on her leash walks, which she's getting really a lot better at, but she gets super excited when she sees squirrels and bunnies, especially. Um, like I said, she loves to play. She loves to play fetch with the tennis ball. She loves to play tug. If you could give her a job, she would be so happy. <laughs> Because she's smart and she likes to use her brain. And right now, I don't know what she's looking at. Not much to see out the window except for some birds. And great in the crate. She doesn't even make a noise. Um, she'll let me sleep in. She doesn't really like going in the crate, but because she would much rather cuddle with me. Yeah, you'd much rather cuddle on the sofa. But she does it and she doesn't complain. Totally housebroken. She, oh, other dogs. She is very selective. Um, is, she tends to do better with dogs that are calm um, and that uh, it can take a while for her to warm up to them. But then once she does, she's like, oh, you're my friend. She is a little socially awkward that way, but I feel like she would like to have another dog if it works out, I think it would be good for her to sort of continue to unpack being out of boarding, someone to show her the way. But she's a great girl. Yes, you are. Uh, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> <laughs> you hit the right spot. <laughs> Very playful. All right, everybody, that's Oreo. Very beautiful, very shiny coat, looking for a home. Uh, the only thing that we did not mention was Oreo is in Boston. Oh, yes. I'm sorry. I forgot to say that. Just, just so everybody knows. Uh, so we, we can do a meet and greet. Um, but if you're in the Boston area, it would obviously be easier. Um, so if anybody on here from Long Island wants to meet Oreo, reach out to your app coordinator and we will figure something out. Uh, all right. Hi, Oreo. You did great. Yes, you did. All right. We're going to jump over to Leia. Leia, Leia. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, correct me. Hi. <laughs> yes, this is, I think it's, I think it's late Leah, but because we're all Star Wars fans here, we keep calling her Leia. I mean, so, you see the, you see my background. It's got, it's, you know, I'm, I'm Star Wars too. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so she, so she's, uh, we call her Leia. So you she can be Princess sort of, Leia uh, for, the, for the Zoom event today, okay? Princess Leia, okay, let's go. Right. <laughs> Princess Leia with the Yoda ears. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Leia, Princess Leia. She is um, two years old and she looks like she's probably a shepherd retriever mix. We've, uh, we've had her just about 24 hours now. So uh, we don't know that much about her, but what we know is that um, she is the sweetest, gentlest dog you ever want to meet. Um, she's great with other dogs. We have two other dogs, um, you know, a sort of a puppy and then an older girl, and she's great with both of them. Uh, she really gives another dog their space. She's not up in any other dog's face. She's really sort of disinterested really, you know, she'll, she'll play if they come up to her, but she's, she'd rather just sort of chill, you know, and hang out. Um, she's, she's pretty good on the leash. You know, we took her for a couple walks and she's, uh, she walks very nicely. Uh, if she sees a squirrel, she gets a little, 
in, a little more interested, but she doesn't tug. She doesn't tug on the leash at all. Um, she seems to be calm. She was calm in the car on our way home. Uh, you know, very relaxed. I mean, that's, if I had to describe her in one word, that would be it. She's just absolutely such a calm dog. Uh, she's crate trained. She goes in her crate. She'll go in, you know, during the day and just lay down in there. Um, and she slept last night. Oop, there we go. She slept last night, you know, the whole night through in the crate, not a peep out of her. Um, she seems to know sit. She knows a couple commands. I think she's, she was probably, you know, very well cared for wherever she was before because she's, she seems to know some basic commands. Um, I gave her a, a bath yesterday. She was completely okay with that. You know, she's just not aggressive in any way, shape or form. See, she just goes in and sleeps every once in a while. She just go in in her crate and just chill. She's not, she doesn't play a lot with toys yet. I think she's just trying to figure out what to do with them. Um, she's not super interested in them. She, she is treat motivated. She likes her treats and does not appear to be food aggressive at all. I haven't really tested that, but um, I don't have any cats, so I haven't tested that either. But again, she's just such a calm animal that, oh, that I can't imagine she would have a problem with them. But so that's that's Leia. All right, that's Leia, guys. Yep, so like we said, she just came on transport yesterday. And uh, transport is a very long trip from South Carolina. They, they make uh, they start Friday and they don't get up here until Saturday sometime mid morning. So it's a very long time. And a lot of these dogs take a long time to unpack. Uh, I actually have a dog right now that uh, came off a of transport that is still not ready to be uh, spotlighted on the camera. Um, she is just um, weary of the situation from where she's been. And for Leia to be ready to go like this, <laughs> it's, it's fantastic. It shows that uh, she's got a good temperament. So that is Leia. Thank you very much. Oh, that's a great picture right there. That's perfect. All right, Leia. Thank you, Princess. Enjoy your uh, Yoda ears. Uh, we're going to jump over to Triton. I think I'm saying that right. I'm hoping because if not, it sounds like uh, a superhero that might beat me up. Um, let's see. Where is Triton? Here he is. I'm hoping it's a he. Let's see. All right. This is Triton for everybody. Just got to turn on mute. Okay. There you go. Perfect. All right. Um. So should I start talking about Triton? You're good. Go for it. Okay. Am I facing right? You, you are. <laughs> okay. So we met Triton yesterday. He is a young boy. Sorry, that's my other dog crying because she's not part of this. Um, if you hear, I have two other dogs. So we just wanted to highlight Triton and not let my other two dogs um, be in this. Um, so that's our boy. He's a young, playful, um, one, two-year-old. He um, has not had any accidents in the house. He goes outside. He loves peeing in our beach grass, which is nice because we know when we, he goes over there that he's going to pee. And then our other dogs try to go and pee as well. Um, he is, um, good with his crate. He took a nap in there yesterday afternoon and also slept in the crate last night. No problems. He enjoys all the toys. As you can see, I have a basket full of toys. Um, he loves playing with toys. Um, what else? It's not food aggressive. He is not food aggressive. Um, we feed our other two dogs separately and he's okay with that. Um, he enjoys playing with our other two dogs, um, which has been great. Um, everybody's getting exercise. Um, what else? Any questions? He's got a super cool name. I mean, come on, Triton. It sounds, uh, sounds like a superhero. You could be a superhero dog. 
<laughs> we're we're teaching him the command sit. He he sit. will sit. Like okay. yeah. Yeah, okay. he's just still he's still kind of learning the association of sit to sit. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Triton is another one of those dogs that just came off a of transport yesterday, so we don't know much about him, um, other than he unpacked enough that he can be on the uh, the Zoom today, after just uh, having a you know twenty hour commute to get here. So it's uh, it's it's pretty it's pretty good. Um, yeah, he's to have a dog jump on today. Other dogs, he's, he's really good. Yeah, he's very playful. Um, as you can hear, my other dogs are getting very upset. Um, <laughs> They're like, come on, that, outside. You, you brought this dog in the house. It's our buddy. Let's go. It's time to pal around. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, did we mention how old Triton is? Do we, do we have an age? Um, they told, they told us he was two. He seems a little bit younger than two because he still has a little bit of that puppy play. Okay. Um, but he... He hasn't um, been destructive in any way. Um, he hasn't had any accidents. He, um, I don't know. He seems very calm and seems like he loves people. So he definitely- Yes, people, he's people very, friendly. very affectionate. Follows you around. He cried when my husband left today. Beautiful. Loves his toys. All right. Well, that's Triton, everybody. If anybody has any questions, uh, throw it in the chat or reach out to your app coordinator um, and ask any questions that you have about Triton. We can pull up whatever info or reach out to uh, reach out to the, the app team. Uh, all right. What I'm going to do now is what I normally do. I normally circle back through the dogs one more time just to give uh, a little bit more attention, just in case somebody forgot something or just to kind of show what the dogs are doing currently. Um, so we're going to jump back through. We're going to run through the list like we just did a second ago. So we're going to go to Aria first, and we're going to just run down the list. All right. So I'm going to jump over to Aria really quick. Just to see what she's up to. Are you waiting for a treat? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. Aria said, I made dad look stupid. <laughs> so we're going to do this again. All right. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh whatever i guess sunday isn't catch day but she That's sits okay, very man. well uh again i just implore you she's absolutely fantastic we love her uh she's the 40th dog to come through my house and she's definitely one of those we have to try not to adopt her ourselves um she's looking at my hand because it's up by where the treats are um so that's it. Ari would just love to have her forever home, and we'd love to help get it for her. Yeah, Aria's set. He's just doing everything. She's a sweetie. Right, just look at his face. She is gorgeous. <laughs> All right, Aria. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Go, go work on that uh, catching the treats, okay? You got to make Adam look better next week. <laughs> All right, everybody. Here is Maybelline. We're going to spotlight Maybelline one more time. There she is, just cuddling, sitting on her person. With her toy. Uh, <laughs> this is one of her favorite things to do. Uh, grab her toy, sit on your lap. She doesn't want you to take her toy. She just wants you to pet her while she, I guess, feels comfortable with the toy. Get a little uh, scratch in there. Um, just reach out to us. You know, uh, meet Maybelline. See if she's a fit for you. Uh, I, at least I think you'll you'll agree that she's a, a great a great pup, great dog. She's about five and a half years old, medium size. That tail is usually wagging. <laughs> she just, uh, you know, I, I, I think you'll agree with it. Like I said, everybody that meets her loves her. So just reach out and uh, we'll get her, get it to you for a meet and greet and take it from there. Doesn't, right. doesn't hurt to meet her. That's right, does not hurt. All right, everybody, that's Maybelline. Enjoy the rest of your cuddles there, Maybelline. Go ahead, come back. All right, everybody, here is Sawyer. What's up, Sawyer? Sawyer knows I have a treat in my hand. I'm going to try to make him do his down. We're teaching him down, and he's getting good at it, although he crawls while he's uh, doing it. Um, <laughs> Sawyer's five years old, really, really well behaved in the house, fully crate trained. Um, 
no issues with, uh, you know, behaviors in the home. I actually leave him out when I sleep at night because I trust him. He, he often sleeps downstairs, uh, with no issues, loves everybody he meets, you know, he just needs some, uh, people to meet with him. And I, I know they'll, they'll pick up on him, you know, not, you know, not someone that could be with other animals. He would need to be the only pet, but he will make it worth your while, um, you know, with all the love that he gives. So please don't be shy. If you want to meet with him, I will make it happen. I can be very flexible with days, times that uh, I can bring him out. You know, everyone who meets him loves him. I, I have some family who doesn't really like dogs and uh, they're always very excited to see him because he's so well behaved and he's, you know, just a, a real gentleman with everybody. All right, everybody, that's Sawyer. If you have any questions, reach out to your app coordinator and let's schedule a meet. We're gonna jump over to Ariel, which I'm being told everybody that uh, Ariel came from a, uh, a shelter that likes to give Disney names. And Triton, <laughs> also, Triton also came from the same shelter. Ah. So she's Ariel from The Little Mermaid, hence the red hair. Red. And Triton is King Triton. So I, I apologize, I was okay. completely wrong with their naming earlier. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> so this is ariel guys hi hi again yep um ariel is done chewing with her bone and now she's looking for a treat sick girl and um i wanted to say she sleeps in the crate all night without a peep um you know i i actually hate putting her in because she's so cuddly at night i just want to cuddle with her on the couch but then um, I say, okay, girl, it's time to go in the crate. And uh, she sleeps all night. Um, there she is. Sit down, girl. Sit. Poor. Yeah, it's good girl. Yeah, so she's, she's very sweet, very affectionate. All right. That's Ariel, guys. App coordinator. Clean, close let's, schedule up. A meet. <laughs> let's schedule a meet for Ariel. She's beautiful. She needs a home. She is a beauty. She really is. All right. Okay. We're gonna jump Good over job. to Ginger and Nikki. Enjoy the rest Ginger. of your day, Ariel. Bye. Okay. All right, here's Ginger and Nikki for their spotlight. And that you can see uh, Ginger here. Oh, oh, I started talking, but she was giving Nikki a bath, which she does often. And she really loves her Nikki. These two are a uh, match pair. We can uh, set up a meet pretty much any time. Um, to, to, to get to know these two really sweet, um, really sweet little puppies. Uh, uh, it's your bath time. Yeah, they're gonna be they're 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 gonna be they're gonna be napping uh, soon, I think. So, <laughs> all right, they they're they're really great. All right, everybody, so affectionate. So affectionate. Ginger and Nikki combined weight thirty eight pounds. Can't go wrong with that. <laughs> two two dogs for one. <laughs> all right thank you ginger and nikki enjoy the rest of your weekend enjoy your nap time we're mm -hmm. going to jump back over to bubba hello uh this is bubba once more he's um a little anxious again because somebody delivered something uh, yet again since we spoke last but um he's starting to calm down maybe he's gonna go upstairs um again he's very gentle he's very sweet he gets along well with all the other dogs as you see just hurdled that one um, and he's available to meet anyone at any time. He's really sweet, creates like magic. I mean, just falls asleep, goes to sleep every night. Also, um, is gentle and, and, um, and, and playful. So again, he can fit through in a lot of different homes, I think. So please give us a call and let us know whenever you'd like to meet him. All right, everybody, that's Bubba. We're gonna jump over to Fergal. All right, have a good one, Bubba. Nice seeing you in person this time. All right, there's Fergal, guys. Just hey, hanging out. Catching some fun. Spot. He's in the same spot he was. He's just relaxing on the Sunday. Working on his suntan, getting ready yeah. for his beach pod. Yeah, he's enjoying the sun. <laughs> and he hasn't really moved. This is what he does. He just kind of hangs out. He's right. just your 100 pound lap dog, just wants to cuddle up. Yeah, gentle as anything. Okay. Okay. <laughs> we just got very nice that's Fergal guys that's what you get when you get Fergal you get I got a 100 pound dog <laughs> buddy. all right we're gonna jump back over you to later, Fergal. Buddy. bye Fergal have a good one bud all right
right, let's spotlight Draco one more time here. There he is. What's up, Draco? Hey, uh, he was laying on my foot for a while, but it looks like, yep, yeah, looks like he's ready to get up. Yes, big stretch, buddy. But yeah, Draco Shepherd mix, four or five years old, 65 pounds, uh, very good boy. And I think he is telling me he would like to go outside. I think so. He's like, let's go. You said the word. Let's go. Come on, bud. Do you want to go outside? He will He will go from zero to 100 in an instant if you say outside or walk. Oh. Do you want to go outside? You want to go? Oh. <laughs> he does he does so we gotta say goodbye all right everybody that is draco reach out to your app coordinator he's ready for a walk all yeah. right we're gonna jump back over to oreo oreo's still looking out the window just taking in taking in everything well she's gone back we were playing tug having some butt scratches now she's back to looking out the window i have a funny story about her the first time it really snowed um we were going down the stairs and out the window she could see the snow and she started barking and growling at it which was hilarious and then we got outside and she was like this is awesome so she loves the snow she loves to eat it uh, she is uh, just a funny exuberant girl even though she's not being that way right now <laughs> yeah she's just interested watching the birds fly by watching the birds today that's okay. Maybe that means spring is coming. That's right. Then you get to go outside more. <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right, everybody. That is Oreo. Looking for a forever home. Once again, just to reiterate, she's in Boston. So if you want to meet her, let us know. We'll definitely coordinate something. Um, other than that, have a good weekend, Oreo. <laughs> All right. We're going to jump over to Princess Leia. Oh, I hit the wrong button. That was on me. <laughs> Okay. There we go. <laughs> so here's Princess Leia. She's outside now, getting a little exercise, chewing on a stick. Uh, <laughs> she's uh, about two year old shepherd retriever, probably mixed, about 64 pounds, but you can see she could probably use a few more pounds. Uh, she's a little on the skinny side. Um, super gentle, sweet dog, just a total love. Uh, Good with other dogs, good in the crate, good in the house, very well-mannered and respectful. Seems to know a few simple commands, good on the leash. Um, yeah, I mean, she's just wonderful. Like I said, we've only had her 24 hours, but she's just really, um, you know, she's just sort of come into the house and uh, relaxed and she seems very comfortable and just a sweetheart to all around. Come here, baby. Good girl. Sit, Leia. Sit. Sit, baby. Good girl. What a good girl. Paw? No, not we're working on the paw. <laughs> she says not right now. I want to play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. That is Leia. Thank you very much, Leia. Enjoy the sunshine. It's a yeah. nice day out there today. Yeah. <laughs> good girl. Good All girl. right. We're going to jump over to our final dog. Triton, King Triton, as I'm being told. Let me just ask them to start their video here. And let's see if I can spotlight. There we go. All right. Okay. Um, here's Triton again. He's tired from being, you know, playing with my dogs this morning. So I'm sorry he's not being active. That's okay. Um, but, but this is good because he's chilling. Yeah, he's he's in the he's in the room with the other dogs, just hanging out, just relaxing. Yep, yep. and there they go. <laughs> Time to play. Let's go. Come on, yep. oh, big stretch. There it is. <laughs> so, uh, um, all right. I don't know. No, it's what great. You did a good. You? you did a great job, Triton. You did. Yeah, he's good. a he's a good boy. He's a very sweet, good boy. Um, he's, he's looking at the couches because we're not letting him on the couches. Yep. He's, he's experimenting. He's like, what is this? Am I allowed? Nope. You're not, buddy. <laughs> yep. Yep. Sorry. That's a house rule. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody, that is Triton. 
Any questions, reach out to your app coordinator. Let's set up a meet. Thank you very much, Triton. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, bud. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let me just Bye. spotlight myself. All right. So I am back. Uh, once again, just wanted to say thank you to all of our fosters for coming on, taking the time and showing off their, their fosters, their in-house dogs. Uh, also want to thank everybody else for coming on today and enjoying the, uh, the virtual events here. If you have any questions, reach out to your app coordinator. If you don't have an app coordinator, please put in an application so you can be assigned to one. They will reach out to you with uh, questions to see which animals that you would like to meet. Um, other than that, uh, we are always looking for fosters. We're always looking for people to adopt. We're always looking for donations. So if you have time and you would like to foster, please reach out to the rescue. We will set you up. We'll get you anything you need, crates, food, toys. We'll help you understand the process of bringing a foster into your home and giving them a loving area until they can be adopted. Um, if you are looking to help us by donating, reach out to the uh, rescue. We always have fundraisers. We have different um, events coming up. We also just take donations if, if that's what you want to do. I know it's tax time this year, so donations are always good during tax season. Um, it always helps. So if you have any questions, please reach out, and that will be the event for today. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Hope everybody had a good time. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and have a good one, guys.